During the last 50 years, the forests on Mount Elgon in eastern Uganda have taken a considerable toll. According to National Forestry Association estimates, high forest in Uganda reduced by over 500,000 hectares between 1990 and 2005. On Mount Elgon, although two districts saw increases of 15% each, some 2,300 hectares, this was offset by a 33% decrease, or 4,400 hectares, in another district on the mountain, resulting in a net decrease. Then from 2005 to 2010, tropical high forest as a whole reduced by another 32%, and of what remains, 75% is described as depleted. The last national census found that over 95% of households use either firewood or charcoal for cooking, in the absence of other forms of power. The National Charcoal Survey in 2015 confirms this situation, similar to many neighbouring countries. Since 2018, Carico has been in discussion with the National Forestry Association and the National Coffee Research Institute to see how this can be restored. In addition to the well-documented benefits of trees, on these steep slopes they provide shade to coffee bushes, allowing them to produce a better, harder bean, harbour birds which reduces the need for pesticides, and also bees which pollinate the coffee plants. The outcome of these discussions is a project that is starting with planting 10,000 indigenous trees on 700 small holding farms covering approximately 700 hectares at over 2,000 metres altitude. The project, which will be led on the ground by women and young adults, will include community and cooperative engagement and educate primary pupils on the role of trees in biodiversity and climate change. Build it back, build it better, go beyond the taste.